So Tua had himself another good performance. I mean, they're 3-0 now with him as a starter, even though really only one game he was asked to do a ton. I mean, for two out of these three games, he has kind of just been the guy who's steering the ship, and he's doing it well. I want to start this film study with this play because... I just think this is a, there's a couple plays that I just see with Tua that are just such mature plays. That's really the way I think I would describe them. Where on this one, it's going to be, it's a cover three zone that the Chargers are in. The Chargers like to play a lot of cover three zones, so obviously Miami had a lot of plays designed to beat cover three zone in this game. The way this one works is it's a play action rollout. You have uh, a tight end and a receiver who are really the main reads on this play, also Tua, since he fakes the handoff, the halfback will then be a check down. So Tua has that option as well. So he has really three options on this play, and even a fourth if he has room to run. So Tua takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and looks up. And if you see right now, nothing is open at this point. Really, the Chargers are doing a pretty good job at making sure that they find a guy and get in the way, so that way Tua can't make the throw down the field. Now, Tua can just take the check down here. Tua could even try to, you know, run for, the, for it a little bit or even just throw the ball away if he doesn't feel like he'll gain yards on the check down or with running the ball, which those are both options he has. However, Tua has time, so he's just going to be patient here. Watch how he waits, even pump fakes, and then eventually makes the throw down the field once it finally opens up because Tua had the time and he was patient enough and he knew the check down wasn't going anywhere. So might as well just take your time. Uh, it was a good decision by Tua and good patience there more than anything. Later on, this play would happen. So it's essentially the exact same concept. There is a slight twist on it. Instead of the halfback being the check down, when Tua rolls out, it's going to be a tight end who's going to be the check down, and the handoff's going to be to the other side of the field. But it's essentially the exact same concept. Uh, so, you know, it, it's something that worked that time. Maybe it'll work this time. It's also worth mentioning this is a third down and one right here. So, crucial play. Again, Tua takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks over to his left, and again, Keep in mind, he's a left-handed quarterback, so these throws are a lot easier for him than, you know, typically with a right-handed quarterback, you're rolling out to the other side of the field. It's kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, you know, you see he has three options on this play. He could try and force it to two of the, you know, the two guys that have in the yellow circles. That's something he could do. He shouldn't, though, because they're not open, and so that would be a risky decision. He's doing the right thing, not throwing it to those two guys. Now, it could be argued on this play, he should throw it to the tight end who's in the black circle, right? That's a way where you would get the first down on this play. The problem is it's a risky throw to make because he's throwing across his body, being the left-handed quarterback, and there is pressure in his face right now. So unlike that last play when he had plenty of time to make a decision, on this play, he would have to twist and make that throw right away. If he overthrows it, you know, it's zone coverage. So if he overthrows it or misses the throw, it could very likely be intercepted. Some would argue he shouldn't make that throw. Some would argue he shouldn't. But what I like about this is just that I trust that he's doing what he's asked to do. He's going to throw this ball away. At this moment, it was a 7 0 Miami lead early on, so this made it 10 0. And I think he just kind of feels like he trusts his team to, you know, be able to play good defense. He doesn't think that he has to take this risk to get the first down. It's also possible he just never saw the tight end. I think that's a real possibility as well. Uh, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, though, because he was making good reads constantly throughout this game. That's a play that I personally like because, you know, I think he made the right call. Take the guaranteed, uh, you know, fourth down, down and one where you could go for it or you could uh, kick the field goal and take the guaranteed three points. Uh, I like that call. Some people will not like that decision, and I think that's fine, too. Uh, but I liked it. Now, let's take a look at this next one, because Tua did not have a perfect day. While his stats weren't incredible, they also looked pretty fine and didn't look like he had any clear problems, uh, if you just look at the stat sheet. While he did only have 169 yards on 25 attempts, he had two touchdowns, no interceptions. It was good for a passer rating of 106.9. That's definitely going to get it done. He did have one bad throw, though. 
uh, that should have been an interception and wasn't. It's a very simple concept. It's zone coverage. A tight end runs over the middle. There is a play action, although honestly, Miami is not really going even going through the motions uh, on this play action. It's essentially just a receiver running through the middle. Hopefully, he'll get in the gap in coverage, and Tua can make this throw and get a completion. Tua takes the snap. He looks up, and this is just clearly not open and not a throw he should make. I mean, you want to talk about a mailbox to make this throw. Quite frankly, I don't even think there's that. I think that if he over throws it high enough that the linebacker won't be able to make the play, I then think it'll be too high for it to be a completion. I think this is just one of those you absolutely can't make the throw to. There's no doubt about that. Tua makes this throw, and against all odds, it goes in between the linebacker's hands and ends up getting caught, which is just insane. I'll show the the other angle because this will really show just how crazy of a play this was. This wasn't a great throw from Tua. It worked out. That's the kind of thing. Sometimes, hey, luck is a part of football. Uh, he got lucky on that one. It happens, you know, but those are kind of the mistakes that you expect a rookie to make of just trying to do too much on a certain play. He's been very good at not doing that so far this season. I did want to bring it up, though. You know, I want to show the good and the bad, and there was a lot more good than bad for Tua, like this one. So it's going to be a cover three zone, and he has a receiver who's running a route that's going to get into a gap in coverage on the outside. There's also another play action. Uh, Miami, they're running a lot of play action, and for good reason. I mean, uh, it really helps open things up, especially against a zone defense team like the Chargers. Uh, and the way this works is that, you know, because of the play action, it's going to get linebackers more out of position. So really the defensive back, you know, he can't crash in too much because he does have to defend deep. He can't get beat deep. And sort of the hope is that with the linebacker out of position, there's a bigger gap for Tua to make this throw. And Tua takes a snap, watch his footwork, watch how he gets all the way turned around. And that makes a perfectly accurate throw. And, you know, that wasn't even really bad defense by the corner who was defending the throw. The, the play action definitely worked and opened up the lane a bit for Tua, but it was pretty good defense, just a really good throw from Tua, and great footwork and quick footwork to make sure he got that throw off in a hurry. Uh, just a really good play from Tua, and he really has. He's continued to look impressive so far for Miami, and it's, it's cool to see. I mean, I thought his week one performance wasn't great. I really didn't think he was very good, but he's now put back-to-back good performances up and he's continuing to impress and uh you know hopefully he can continue to look this good I mean he might not make those like incredible highlight real level plays that Herbert's making where he throws it 50 yards down the field on the run with perfect accuracy he might not have the fun sound bites that Joe Burrow has but at the same time He's performing just as well of the well as those two guys, if not better. And it's crazy that we've now had three rookie quarterbacks that were drafted in the first round all look really impressive. And there's a fourth guy that was drafted in the fourth round and Jordan Love, who we have still yet to see. So pretty, pretty crazy. So yeah, that's what I think about Tua. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.